Welcome to Serenity Productions. Sorry, I, sh I should have warned you before you took that first bite. <laughs> to be fair though, the look on your face is kind of cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you it was sour. You should have listened. <laughs> Did you like it though? <laughs> yeah. They're pretty good. Okay, I'll grab a couple of these then, and um, we can move on to the next stall. Hi, uh, can I have um, five of these? <laughs> yes, we would like them very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're, they're great. It's their first time trying one. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're from out of town. Uh, I think a different region of Fae. Yeah. Really cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Just keep walking. Don't worry, Fae story is passing off. You don't make a big deal out of anyone calling you Faye and not a dragon? Fine. Now, what's the next stall you want to go to? We can check out some of the apothecary stalls. I know, but we can check out more. <laughs> I'm always looking for new ingredients. And this makes it easier for me. Less uh, having to go out into the woods and find them myself. Which means less chances of running into a fallen dragon. <laughs> okay, um... We can go check out the dancers, if you want. Yeah, they're amazing. They're fire dancers. They use fire magic in all their performances. It's really cool. Okay, um, is there something else that you wanted to check out? I mean, we've been at it for a while, actually. Oh yeah, the festival will go on for, like, three days. If you're ready to go home, we can just go home. Yeah, I mean, we can just go home. Okay. Um, yeah, the bags? You know, having a friend that is, uh, very strong is very helpful. <laughs> okay. Then, let's get going. So, how'd you like all this? Oh, yeah. Told you humans aren't as bad as you think they are. Have to give us the opportunity. Besides, it's a lot of fun. And I'm guessing you had a lot of fun too. I did tell you so. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna take us a little bit to get through this crowd. What's my favorite part of the festival? Um, well, if we come back out later tonight, there's even more dancing and food and music and... I don't know. It's just fun and lighthearted. And they go into the way hours of the morning. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's my favorite because where I'm from originally, we never had anything like this. 
I mean, we had festivals, but they were always so... boring in comparison. There were nothing like this. Magic was never used, and... You can never just bump into, you know, a different creature or something. It's always just humans. You never got to experience different cultures. I think that's one of my favorite things, is that I get to experience different cultures. I get to experience different walks of life. And what they can bring to the table. It's incredible, and I love it. Besides, fey food has to be some like the best food. <laughs> As long as they're not trying to enchant you with it. Oh yeah, there are ways you can tell. Mm -hmm. um, if you sprinkle a little bit of salt onto the food and it starts going blue, stay away. Stay away. <laughs> they'll, they'll try to make you their um, pet. Yeah, it's um, it's a little bit of a tricky slope, but if you can find good fey food that's not enchanted. I highly recommend that you test it out. <laughs> I mean, elfish food is good too, but to be fair, it's a little bland. And unless you are going on a very far trek and need elvish bread, I even go go with the fey food. <laughs> oh, you like the human stalls? Of course you do, it's because they specialize in meats. Smoked, roasted, everything and anything you can do to an animal. We've figured it out. Yeah. I mean, I think you picked up enough jerky to last you a lifetime. <laughs> well, if you can finish all that off within the next two months, I'll be shocked. Yeah, the king will make an appearance soon enough. He usually comes though on the last day. Gives a big farewell speech. Yeah. It's also a time where diplomats and ambassadors come in, so that's why we really don't see him much here out in the festival. Yeah, he does have obligations to keep. But that's what makes him a good king. Is that even though he has his royal obligations, he does try to make time for his people. What's wrong? Like I said, don't worry, the guards think you're Faye. And they haven't paid you much mind since you came. So don't worry about it. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yes, of course, I can have those right over to the barracks. Absolutely. Yes. Of course, and, and give my um, greetings to the captain as well. Okay. Yes, have a good day. See, that was it. Nothing big. I just wanted to make sure I could bring over a few more salves over to the barracks. Nothing, you know, bad is going to happen every single time you see a group of cards. Yeah, well, you should learn to trust. <laughs> you trust me just fine, which is probably why you made the most soured face I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, I can show you how to properly use those in teas, and hopefully the sourness will not be as bad and potent. <laughs> yeah, um, the captain and I, uh, are friends. Uh, how are you so intuitive? How do you know to read between whatever I say? 
The captain and I have a complicated relationship. He keeps trying to court me and I keep negating the situation. I don't want to get involved with another noble. It's something that I ran away from. It's not something I'm looking to run back to, even if it is in a different city, and even if the captain is a good man. It's just something that I'm not open to right now. Oh, thank you. Well, if he does give me any more trouble, I will be sure to tell you so then you can you know, mess everything that we've had going for us for the last couple of weeks up, and you can reveal to everyone that a dragon is in the kingdom. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> oh, I have quite the wit on me. Well, I, I think it comes from living with you for the last month now. <laughs> hmm. You know, you still haven't come to the college yet with me. You can come. You can study anything that you want. The library is open to all. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to be a student there to use the library. Adventurers come from everywhere to use the libraries here. And plus, I would really like you to meet my mentor. She's amazing, and honestly, told her, you know, that you're, you know, she'd be over the moon and back. Mm -hmm. If anything, she could probably help us find a glamour or something to help convince people more that you are actually a fae. And we could just pass it off that you were cursed or something like that. <laughs> I'm not saying that who you are is cursed. I am saying that not a lot of people trust. You know. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to see it now? I told you my jeweler friend could make amazing work. I think this has to be the most beautiful thing I own right now. Thank you. I think a lot of people have also been asking why the hell did I find a scale this pretty? Oh, it's very easy to say that you found it on the ground when you're out there collecting stuff. Trust me, everybody believes that when you're an apothecary. Oh yeah, you should see the amount of feathers that I have for quills from going out and just picking them off the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wh what did you find? Oh, those. Oh. <laughs> those are lovebird desserts. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to break them in half. Do you see how they have, like, a little crevice in the middle of them. You break them in half. And the couple that is lucky enough to get the one that is purple in the middle is fated to be together for life. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. We're, we're not together. Um, no, truly, it's, it's fine. It's... You want to get one? I mean, okay. We're not a... <laughs> okay, as, as friends, I guess then we can get one. Does that qualify? Okay. Alright. So, you take one half, I'll take the other. Okay. One. Two. Oh, uh, would you look at that? 
It's purple in the middle. I guess, um... Well, I guess we're stuck with each other for life.